All right, guys, now we're going to pour up our paint. Now, this is how you pour up your paint when we're going to roll and when we're going to brush. Uh, now, we always want to use a cut-in bucket. Some people pour straight from the paint gallon. Um, I don't like doing that because there's a lot of paint on the brim after you pour it, so it's always best to start with a nice, clean cut bucket. So first thing you're going to want to do is give it a nice little shake. Anytime, you know, shake it up. Anytime the paint has been sitting for a while, you always want to give it a good shake. Uh, and then I'm just going to use my putty knife to pop off this lid. So just put the side of it, give it a little turn, just like that. And now because we just shook it, there's going to be a ton of paint on the back side of the lid. So when I pull it off, I'm just going to give it a twist and turn. That way it keeps my hands clean. The whole point of what we're doing is to always try to stay clean. And the first thing um, I want to talk about is not pouring up on the front of the label. The front of the label is what tells us what sheen it is, where the paint's from. Um, so I always pour up on the back side of the label. And when we're using a roller bucket and our cut bucket, you always want to pour into the roller bucket first because you're going to pour, that's where you're going to pour most of the paint. Um, now in our cut bucket, we're only going to want a couple inches of paint. So when we pour up into our five gallon, we're going to get our brush ready, our purdy, and then we're just going to give it a quick pour, about two thirds, give it a twist, a little tap. See how it's pretty clean right there on the top of the paint bucket? Then I'm just going to pour a little bit into my cut bucket. About like that, give it another little twist. And this is the trick right here. See all this paint? I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush that stuff off the side of the can. I'm going to brush it out from inside of the brim. That way when we put the lid on, it doesn't get all stuck and globbed all over the place. So you always want to clean it up like that. Now if you see how much paint I poured in my cut bucket, there's not very much. Look at that. You never want to pour above this. That's all we're going to need for the paint. And boom, now we're ready to go. We'll leave our five gallon roller bucket here for later. Uh, we're going to use our nine inch roller pad, nine inch roller frame. Put that on there, nice and tight. Throw our screen in here. And we don't need this yet, so we're not going to want to put it in the paint. We're just going to leave it right here. We're going to throw the lid on the bucket. Keep this stuff out of the way. All right, let's go cut.